A number of English cities and national parks are to share £94 million cash boost to promote cycling. Manchester, Newcastle and Birmingham are among the cities to receive new funding. The money will be used to fund new cycle routes and to improve existing ones. Well, let's speak now to our correspondent Jenny Hill, who is in Leeds for us. Jenny, over to you. Yes, hello there. Uh, Yorkshire, of course, is a fitting place for this because next summer, this is where the Tour de France will officially begin. Leeds is also one of the places to benefit from this government funding. In fact, the towpath I'm standing on runs alongside the Leeds-Liverpool Canal. It's used a great deal by cyclists commuting in and out of the city, and it's due to get a bit of a refurbishment to make life slightly easier for them. So we know that the government are going to invest £94 million into cycling improvements. Let's take a look at how that spending breaks down. We're talking first of all about eight English cities, uh, among them Manchester, Birmingham and Oxford, who will be dividing up between them £77 million. Then several national parks, including the Peak District, will share in £17 million, an additional £17 million. Many local authorities choose to add to the government funding and that means that between now and 2015 it's thought some £140 £48 million pounds will be spent on improving cycling infrastructure within England. Well, let's see what some regular cyclists have to make of that. This is Lizzie. She's a keen cyclist. She's from Leeds Cycling Campaign. First of all, is it enough? The government say this is going to equate to something like £10 pounds per head of population spent on cycling. I think if you compare that amount to what some of our European neighbours are spending on cycling, their annual budget is about 15 to 20 pounds per head. Um, at the moment, We've historically only spent about £1 per head um, on cycling, so really we do need to up the levels of investment in English cycling. Conversely, some people will say at a time of huge spending cuts at council and government level, should we be putting money into cycling at all? I think you've got to weigh it up against the long-term health benefits of cycling. Um, we've just heard that cycling to work can halve your chance of de developing diabetes in later life. So I think the long-term investment is worth it. Okay, thank you so much for joining us there. Um, let me introduce you to some other cyclists who we've met down here on the canal path this morning. First of all, Martin, good morning to Hi. you. I know you've had some really difficult near misses on your bicycle, haven't you? How safe is cycling in Britain today? Well, cycling is actually a very safe activity. It's just the perceived danger that stops a lot of other people cycling. So what needs to change? Well, in order to get young kids and uh, women and elderly people on their bikes commuting into work and just using their bikes as a, as a daily tool, um, segregation is really the answer, which is why I personally welcome this, uh, this funding for segregated routes in Leeds. Martin, thank you very much. Let me move on to Ariane and Annette. Um, Ariane is from the Netherlands and Annette, you're half Dutch, so you both have experience of cycling in a city or in cities which are very geared up towards mm -hmm. cyclists. What needs to change here in Britain, do you think? Or what could we learn from the Netherlands? I think cycling in Holland is normal. So everyone does it, everyone goes from A to B on a bike and you don't need to plan where you're going, you just get on your bike and go. There are signposts, there are way markers, there are little toadstools that tell you where you're going. And it makes life so much easier. Arian, I know you came from the Netherlands and started cycling in, in Britain. What was the difference that you found? In Britain you need more to fight for your place on the roads. In the Netherlands it's common for you being there. Car drivers noticed that you could be there. Uh, in Britain you need to fight for your own place, your own space, to make sure that you can travel around safely. Sounds like a scary scenario. Thank you all for joining us. Um, well, incidentally, here in Leeds, one of the other major plans um, as a result of the funding is to create what they're calling a cycle superhighway between this city and the city of Bradford. That's something that cyclists in the city are very much welcoming. Others, of course, saying that this funding simply isn't enough, more investment is needed. It's worth pointing out, incidentally, that the £94 million figure that the government has announced today isn't necessarily all new. Some of that funding was announced last year. It's just that we now know how the money is going to be divided up. Here in Leeds, though, they say investment is a good thing for the future because the aim here is to triple the number of cyclists in the city over the coming years. Jenny, thank you very much.